This is the latest creation of playground equipment maker Berliner Seilfabrik. Here, children can climb, swing and slide, all the while training their motor skills. And when they're through, they can lie down and relax on the Cloud9. That's what playground equipment developer David Köhler calls his swing. We don't have time to lounge around on swings because we're pretty busy. But of course it's nice when you can literally just hang around and relax at the playground and find inspiration for new ideas. Aluminum rings, shaped like four-leaf clovers, hold everything together. The largest pieces of equipment are made from 500 meters of rope cable. It takes an experienced rope weaver around four hours to make a standard net. This one is destined for South America and costs 18,000 euros. Kurla inquires where this piece is going. It's bound for Chile. The weaver says it should be finished by the end of the day. We export 75% of our products, quite a lot for a mid-sized company from Berlin, so foreign markets are the most important for us. Even if Germany accounts for 25% of our turnover, the most from any single country, it's essential we have widespread representation abroad. The Berliner Seilfabrik produces 400,000 meters of rope cable each year. The external strands are covered with super strong polyester and polyamide yarns, allowing the galvanized steel cables to hold more than six tons of weight. <laughs> German playground developer Ulrich Paulich makes wooden equipment. He and a sports scientist have created a motor skills park. I'm walking on the 100 footprints, one of a total of 160 motor skills elements. We've got the patent on them all over Europe. And this unique selling point will help gain a foothold in new markets abroad. Ten percent of the company's business comes from abroad, mainly from Switzerland, Austria and the Benelux countries. Paulik's company, Merry-Go-Round, has just made another major investment in equipment. Behind me is our new CNC milling machine that we've had for around three months. It's to help us build our motor skills elements and our playground equipment quicker. That's why we invested in this device which cost around a quarter of a million euros. Ulrich Paulik works with a landscape architect when creating his playgrounds. It often takes a whole year to see a project through from the initial idea to the finished product. Paulik is currently in negotiations to build a playground in Dubai. It'll boast modern shade sails so that kids can still have fun in the sun.